Jorge Agustín Nicolás Ruiz de Santayana y Boras, known in English as George Santayana, December 16, 1863 to September 26, 1952, was a philosopher, essayist, poet, and novelist. Originally from Spain, Santayana was raised and educated in the United States from the age of eight and identified himself as an American, although he always kept a valid Spanish passport. He wrote in English and is generally considered an American man of letters. At the age of 48, Santayana left his position at Harvard and returned to Europe permanently, never to return to the United States. Santayana is popularly known for aphorisms, such as, Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Only the dead have seen the end of war. And the definition of beauty is, Pleasure objectified. Although an atheist, he treasured the Spanish Catholic values, practices, and worldview in which he was raised. Santayana was a broad-ranging cultural critic spanning many disciplines. Early life Jorge Agustín Nicolás Ruiz de Santayana y Boras was born on December 16, 1863, in Madrid, and he spent his early childhood in Avila, Spain. His mother, Josefina Boras, was the daughter of a Spanish official in the Philippines, and Jorge was the only child of her second marriage. Josefina Boras' first husband was George Sturgis, a Boston merchant, with whom she had five children, two of whom died in infancy. She lived in Boston for a few years following her husband's death in 1857, but in 1861 moved with her three surviving children to live in Madrid. There she encountered Agustín Ruiz de Santayana, an old friend from her years in the Philippines. They married in 1862. A colonial civil servant, Ruiz de Santayana was also a painter and minor intellectual. The family lived in Madrid and Avila. In 1869 Josefina Boras de Santayana returned to Boston with her three Sturgis children, because she had promised her first husband to raise the children in the United States. She left the six-year-old Jorge with his father in Spain. Jorge and his father followed her to Boston in 1872. However, his father, finding neither Boston nor his wife's attitude to his liking, soon returned alone to Avila, and remained there the rest of his life. Jorge did not see him again until he entered Harvard College and began to take his summer vacations in Spain. Sometime during this period, Jorge's first name was anglicized as George, the English equivalent. Topic. Education Santayana attended Boston Latin School and Harvard College, where he studied under the philosophers William James and Josiah Royce and was involved in eleven clubs as an alternative to athletics. He was founder and president of the Philosophical Club, a member of the literary society known as the OK, an editor and cartoonist for the Harvard Lampoon, and co-founder of the literary journal The Harvard Monthly. In December, 1885, he played the role of Lady Elfrida in the hasty pudding theatrical Robin Hood, followed by the production Papianetta in the spring of his senior year. After graduating Phi Beta Kappa from Harvard in 1886, Santayana studied for two years in Berlin. He then returned to Harvard to write his dissertation on Hermann Lotz and teach philosophy, becoming part of the golden age of the Harvard philosophy department. Some of his Harvard students became famous in their own right, including T. S. Eliot, Robert Frost, Gertrude Stein, Horace Collin, Walter Lippmann, and W. E. B. Du Bois. Wallace Stevens was not among his students but became a friend. From 1896 to 1897, Santayana studied at King's College, Cambridge. Topic. Later life Santayana never married. His romantic life, if any, is not well understood. Some evidence, including a comment Santayana made late in life comparing himself to A. E. Hausman, and his friendships with people who were openly homosexual and bisexual, has led scholars to speculate that Santayana was perhaps homosexual or bisexual himself, but it remains unclear whether he had any actual heterosexual or homosexual relationships. In 1912, Santayana resigned his position at Harvard to spend the rest of his life in Europe. He had saved money and been aided by a legacy from his mother. After some years in Avila, Paris and Oxford, after 1920, he began to winter in Rome, eventually living there year-round until his death. During his 40 years in Europe, he wrote 19 books and declined several prestigious academic positions. 
Many of his visitors and correspondents were Americans, including his assistant and eventual literary executor, Daniel Corey. In later life, Santayana was financially comfortable, in part because his 1935 novel, The Last Puritan, had become an unexpected bestseller. In turn, he financially assisted a number of writers, including Bertrand Russell, with whom he was in fundamental disagreement, philosophically and politically. Santayana's one novel, The Last Puritan, is a building's Roman, centering on the personal growth of its protagonist, Oliver Alden. His Persons and Places is an autobiography. These works also contain many of his sharper opinions and bonds mo. He wrote books and essays on a wide range of subjects, including philosophy of a less technical sort, literary criticism, the history of ideas, politics, human nature, morals, the influence of religion on culture and social psychology, all with considerable wit and humor. While his writings on technical philosophy can be difficult, his other writings are far more accessible and pithy. He wrote poems and a few plays, and left an ample correspondence, much of it published only since 2000. Like Alexis de Tocqueville, Santayana observed American culture and character from a foreigner's point of view. Like William James, his friend and mentor, he wrote philosophy in a literary way. Ezra Pound includes Santayana among his many cultural references in the cantos, notably in Canto LXXXI and Canto XCV. Santayana is usually considered an American writer, although he declined to become an American citizen, resided in fascist Italy for decades, and said that he was most comfortable, intellectually and aesthetically, at Oxford University. Following 1935 and the writing of his only novel The Last Puritan, he continued to winter in Rome, eventually living there year-round until his death in 1952. Topic. Philosophical work and publications. Santayana's main philosophical work consists of The Sense of Beauty 1896, his first book-length monograph and perhaps the first major work on aesthetics written in the United States, The Life of Reason 5 volumes, 1905-6, the high point of his Harvard career, Skepticism and Animal Faith 1923, and The Realms of Being 4 vols, 1927-40. Although Santayana was not a pragmatist in the mold of William James, Charles Sanders Peirce, Josiah Royce, or John Dewey, The Life of Reason arguably is the first extended treatment of pragmatism written. Like many of the classical pragmatists, and because he was well versed in evolutionary theory, Santayana was committed to metaphysical naturalism. He believed that human cognition, cultural practices, and social institutions have evolved so as to harmonize with the conditions present in their environment. Their value may then be adjudged by the extent to which they facilitate human happiness. The alternate title to the life of reason, the phases of human progress, is indicative of this metaphysical stance. Santayana was an early adherent of epiphenomenalism, but also admired the classical materialism of Democritus and Lucretius of the three authors on whom he wrote in Three Philosophical Poets, Santayana speaks most favorably of Lucretius. He held Spinoza's writings in high regard, calling him his master and model. Although an atheist, he held a fairly benign view of religion. Santayana's views on religion are outlined in his books Reason in Religion, The Idea of Christ in the Gospels, and Interpretations of Poetry and Religion. Santayana described himself as an aesthetic Catholic. He spent the last decade of his life at the convent of the Blue Nuns of the Little Company of Mary on the Celian Hill at 6 Via Santo Stefano Rotondo in Rome, where he was cared for by the Irish sisters. Santayana also held views of racial superiority and eugenic ideations discouraging the races he believed to be superior from intermarriage with inferior stock. Topic. Legacy. Santayana is remembered in large part for his aphorisms, many of which have been so frequently used as to have become cliched. His philosophy has not fared quite as well. He is regarded by most as an excellent prose stylist, and Professor John Lax who is sympathetic with much of Santayana's philosophy writes, in On Santayana, that his eloquence may ironically be the very cause of this neglect. Santayana influenced those around him, including Bertrand Russell, whom Santayana single-handedly steered away from the ethics of G. E. Moore. 
He also influenced many prominent people such as Harvard students T. S. Eliot, Robert Frost, Gertrude Stein, Horace Collin, Walter Lippmann, W. E. B. Du Bois, Conrad Aiken, Van Wyck Brooks, and Supreme Court Justice Felix Frankfurter, as well as Max Eastman and the poet Wallace Stevens. Stevens was especially influenced by Santayana's aesthetics and became a friend even though Stevens did not take courses taught by Santayana. Santayana is quoted by the Canadian-American sociologist Irving Goffman as a central influence in the thesis of his famous book The Presentation of Self in Everyday Life 1959. Religious historian Jerome A. Stone credits Santayana with contributing to the early thinking in the development of religious naturalism. English mathematician and philosopher Alfred North Whitehead quotes Santayana extensively in his magnum opus Process and Reality. Chuck Jones used Santayana's description of fanaticism as redoubling your effort after you've forgotten your aim to describe his cartoons starring Wile E. Coyote and Road Runner. Topic: In popular culture. Santayana is referenced in the lyrics to singer Billy Joel's 1989 music single, We Didn't Start the Fire. The quote, Only the dead have seen the end of war, was misattributed to Plato in the 2001 war film Black Hawk Down. <laughs> <laughs> Awards Royal Society of Literature Benson Medal, 1925 Columbia University Butler Gold Medal, 1945. Honorary degree from the University of Wisconsin, 1911. Topic: Bibliography. 1894. Sonnets and other verses. 1896. The Sense of Beauty: Being the Outline of Aesthetic Theory. 1899. Lucifer, A Theological Tragedy 1900. Interpretations of Poetry and Religion 1901. A Hermit of Carmel and Other Poems 1905-1906. The Life of Reason, or the Phases of Human Progress, 5 vols. 1910. Three Philosophical Poets, Lucretius, Dante, and Goethe 1913. Winds of Doctrine, Studies in Contemporary Opinion 1915. Egotism in German Philosophy 1920. Character and Opinion in the United States, with reminiscences of William James and Josiah Royce and Academic Life in America 1920. Little Essays, drawn from the writings of George Santayana, by Logan Pearsall Smith, with the collaboration of the author 1922. Soliloquies in England and Later Soliloquies 1922. Poems 1923. Skepticism and Animal Faith, Introduction to a System of Philosophy 1926. Dialogues in Limbo 1927. Platonism and the Spiritual Life 1927-40. The Realms of Being, Four Vols. 1931. The Genteel Tradition at Bay 1933. Some Turns of Thought in Modern Philosophy, Five Essays 1935. The Last Puritan, a Memoir in the Form of a Novel 1936. Obiter Scripta, Lectures, Essays and Reviews. Justus Buchler and Benjamin Schwartz, eds. 1944. Persons and Places 1945. The Middle Span 1946. The Idea of Christ in the Gospels, or, God in Man, a Critical Essay 1948. Dialogues in Limbo, with Three New Dialogues 1951. Dominations and Powers, Reflections on Liberty, Society, and Government 1953. My Host The World Posthumous Edited, Selected Works 1955. The Letters of George Santayana. Daniel Corey, ed. Charles Scribner's Sons. New York, 296 Letters 1956. Essays in Literary Criticism of George Santayana. Irving Singer, ed. 1957. The Idler and His Works, and Other Essays. Daniel Corey, ed. 1967. The Genteel Tradition, Nine Essays by George Santayana. Douglas L. Wilson, ed. 
1967. George Santayana's America, Essays on Literature and Culture. James Ballow, ed. 1967. Animal Faith and Spiritual Life, previously unpublished and uncollected writings by George Santayana with critical essays on his thought. John Lax, ed. 1968. Santayana on America, Essays, Notes, and Letters on American Life, Literature, and Philosophy. Richard Colton Leone, ed. 1968. Selected Critical Writings of George Santayana, 2 vols. Norman Henfrey, ed. 1969. Physical Order and Moral Liberty, Previously Unpublished Essays of George Santayana. John and Shirley Lax, eds. 1979. The Complete Poems of George Santayana, a critical edition. Edited, with an introduction, by W. G. Haltzberger. Bucknell University Press. 1995. The Birth of Reason and Other Essays. Daniel Corey, ed., with an introduction by Herman J. Sotkamp, Jr. Columbia Univ. Press. 2009. The Essential Santayana. Selected writings edited by the Santayana edition, compiled and with an introduction by Martin A. Coleman. Bloomington, Indiana University Press, The Works of George Santayana Unmodernized, critical editions of George Santayana's published and unpublished writing. The Works is edited by the Santayana edition and published by the MIT Press. 1986. Persons and Places. Santayana's Autobiography, Incorporating Persons and Places, 1944, The Middle Span, 1945, and My Host the World, 1953. 1988 1896. The Sense of Beauty, Being the Outline of Aesthetic Theory. 1990 1900. Interpretations of Poetry and Religion. 1994 1935. The Last Puritan, a memoir in the form of a novel. The Letters of George Santayana. Containing over 3,000 of his letters, many discovered posthumously, to more than 350 recipients. 2001. Book 1, 1868 1909. 2001. Book 2, 1910 1920. 2002. Book 3, 1921 1927. 2003. Book 4, 1928 1932. 2003. Book 5, 1933 1936. 2004. Book 6, 1937 to 1940. 2006. Book 7, 1941 to 1947. 2008. Book 8, 1948 to 1952. 2011. George Santayana's Marginalia: A Critical Selection, Books 1 and 2. Compiled by John O. McCormick and edited by Christine W. Frost. The Life of Reason in Five Books. 2011 1905 Reason in Common Sense 2013 1905 Reason in Society 2014 1905 Reason in Religion Topic See also American Philosophy List of American Philosophers The Harvard Monthly Topic. References Topic. Further reading Patella, Giuseppe, Beleza, Arte y Vita. La Estetica Mediterranea de George Santayana, Valencia, PUV, 2010, pp. 212. ISBN 978-84-370-7734-5. Perez Fermat, Gustavo. Tongue Ties, Logo Eroticism in Anglo-Hispanic Literature. New York, Palgrave Macmillan, 2003. Moreno, Daniel. Santayana the Philosopher, Philosophy as a Form of Life. Lewisburg, Bucknell University Press, 2015. Translated by Charles Padron. Topic. External links Critical edition of the works of George Santayana Works by George Santayana at Project Gutenberg Works by George Santayana at Faded Page Canada. Works by or about George Santayana at Internet Archive 
Sotkamp, Herman. George Santayana. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Includes a complete bibliography of the primary literature, and a fair selection of the secondary literature. The Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy, George Santayana by Matthew C. Flam. The Santayana Edition Works by George Santayana at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Overheard in Seville, Bulletin of the Santayana Society On George Santayana, Spanish-English blog about Santayana. George Santayana, Catholic Atheist", by Richard Butler in Spirituality Today, Vol. 38 Winter 1986, p. 319 George Santayana at Curly. George Santayana at Find a Grave George Santayana, Many Nations in One Empire 1934.